All the weirdness that happens, um, it really is everything that I want in my life. You see the best, greatest fun talent in the greater Boston area every week. It's the people. It's the magic. You know, it's a, it's a once in a lifetime crazy whirlwind. We come here and do this every week and we don't get paid and we just do it out of the passion of our hearts. We give just enough fucks for it to be a good show. We, we, don't, give, we don't give too many fucks, but we give just enough. Because it's heavy leather, man. I mean, what else can I say? So my name is Ken. Uh, you might know me as the frankly legendary rock and roll writer, Sleaze the Grinder, and I am the host and creator of the heavy leather topless dance party. In the 90s, I had a television show um, called uh, Welcome to Weird City, and a lot of the concepts, especially the, the live rock and roll band performances, as well as novelty third acts that we do a lot, came from the Welcome to Weird City show. And then a lot of the, um, the crew, the cast and crew, came from the radio show, um, Sleazy Runner Super Show, that we did. WEMF Radio. Clothes, best boots, best diamonds, best cars, trucks. What happened was, it was me, Stacy DC, and two members of the band of the Humanoids. At some point, they were annoyed with us in general for general tone. So we decided just for the summer to do the Sleazy Grinder Super Show over there. While we were doing that, uh, the band Strange Fuzz had an incident at O'Brien's where their bass player tried to light his bass on fire. So how do you guys make all these enemies? What's going on with well, this? They tried to burn down O'Brien's, but well, that was only... Oh, yeah, I want well, to know well, about well, this. Well, like, well, 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 hold on. We need a defense here. Something happened at O'Brien's. We don't know exactly what happened at O'Brien's. <laughs> we, we don't know what happened, and it did involve yeah. another band called the Drug Dogs. And suddenly they were uh, the local rock and roll terrors. I will admit, you know, we are the most dangerous band in town. Yeah. And we don't want that, you know, to change. So after that was over, uh, I sat down with Stacy DC and uh, John Manson, and I was like, I, I really like these guys, Strange Fuzz, and I think we should do a show with them. And Stacy DC and John Manson said, absolutely not, we should not do a show with them. And as a matter of fact, I would like to never see those three again as long as I live. So I called up Strange Fuzz, and I was like, hey, guys, want to make a TV show with me? And they were said, yes, I do. Well, it was, it, we were doing, he was doing the radio show at the same time, um, I believe it was when we started the gotcha. uh, TV show. He just decided he wanted to go into new territory. And that's how, that's how we started the show. Eventually, everybody who said no uh, eventually came on, on board, but at the beginning, it was me and Strange Fuzz making a television show together. Everybody, welcome to the Heavy Leather Show. Topless dance party. Now what you're seeing here is not actually the first episode of Heavy Leather, although it is a very early episode. What happened to the first one? It was the very first episode of the Heavy Leather Topless Dance Party, which no longer exists. We had our first, first four episodes of the Heavy Leather Topless Dance Party was done in what's known as the hot set, which is a really little set, live set that they have there, which is made for what it usually is, which is basically like two guys in chairs. So it wasn't set up for like a live talk show with a house band, which is what we were. Yeah. So how do you unattack the heart? Tell me what happened. You you drive yourself as fast as you can to the hospital and let them save your life. <laughs> so we start the very first episode of the Heavy Life Poplar's Dance Party with the theme song. And for whatever reason, it's hard to figure out what Strange Fuzz are thinking sometimes, but they decided to destroy their equipment halfway through the intro to our first episode. Mitch is smashing his guitar into Tyler's drum set. And what happens in this tiny room is that they knock out power in half of the building. All of a sudden, all the lights go out and, you know, 
the the set is right next to the edit room. So all these people who are editing their shows, all their computers blink out. These guys are just wandering around days with just splintered instruments everywhere, and we're in the dark. And I have no idea if the show is even still on the air. I figure it can't be. And again, it's just Strange Fuzz looking blankly at the screen amidst all the rubble that they've caused. And that was basically the show, Then, because it started out being a half an hour. And that was, that was the end of the first show. And I was like, well, that's it. We're never going to, we'll never do another show again. When they knocked out half of the power, we also lost the recording. So it's, it's gone. It no longer exists in time. But it was, uh, it was a very audacious uh, opening, for sure. Hey. What's up? Tell people that. Yeah. What did Johnny do? <laughs> shoot, you gotta shoot the sh Well, I come in here. First thing I do is I put tape on everything so that I can label stuff so we know who's on what channel. Found the TriCaster, white bounce cameras. Check the lights, and if we're lucky, we have plenty of time to just kind of hang out if we're on time. But before the tsunami gets here, yeah. I'm gonna be coming around. What do you think, minutes. Johnny or John? You see one of those? It's connecting the curtain to the. It's hers. You should take it. I know, right? Take it. Elsa, come get your snow globe for God's sakes. God, Elsa. Please. We're ready to go and to showcase the area's uh, best. We're always looking high and low for the best uh, cutting edge, fun local talent. And it's every week and we meet people and make friends and have a, a, a party, a topless dance party. Hey, what's up? Good. It's really awesome, like learning a new song every week, working with really and truly creative and somewhat strange, weird people. Um, it's quite refreshing. Um, uh, this is my Friday, so it's good after a week's worth of work. Now the party starts. Fucking ready? Get that gaff shot. Are you guys the gas for today? Right, but this could apply to you. Yes, you ready to do this? I'm like, as it turns out, I took a look at the Arabic dictionary and it needs something completely different. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. I call it Millennium Falcon. This you know isn't going to get you to the finish line, but it's going to get you through tonight. Yeah. You know? Still strong. Right? Oh my god. Look out! Ah! Perfect. We're going to do cartwheels on this shit. Oh, more handstands. As yeah, always. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh it's the gentle.
Let's see. He's already living the dream, it feels like. Uh, hey. I'm living the dream. I want to do some writing. People always tell me, you know, the one thing I hate all the time is, you know, looking young, it is difficult for me. Especially when I go to restaurants with my friends. Yeah. Conan O'Brien. Conan O'Brien. Who's that? Yeah. Michael, Michael J. Going. Fox. Keep going. Christopher Lloyd, I think I got him the second time. Okay. Billy D. Williams. You got him the second time. Tell me what that means. <laughs> After that, we're playing at Sally O'Brien's. That's on Facebook, so uh, the Satanic Temple Boston, uh, on Instagram, TSD Boston, Twitter. <laughs> Heavy Leather has had a wild run. Since airing in late 2016, it has gone on to produce well over 100 episodes and win the award for Best Live Show from Somerville Media Center. Twice. Well, so, the Best Live Scat TV Show! And the winner is Heavy Leather Topless Dance Party! Uh, three years ago, I went to see Erica and I said, I have a dumb idea, I want to do a weekly... A uh, rock and roll show with uh, dancing girls and gorillas, and she said, "Sure, go ahead." And uh, then all these people showed up, and then we did it. The dream came true. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. The show is is much bigger than than me now. I mean, you know, there's 20 people involved, and everybody feels like they have a part in it because they do have a part in it, and everybody has a has a vital role, and everybody has a part of the vision that makes up the whole thing. So, so even if I wanted to stop, I'm not even sure how I could. I think we'll know when we're done, and I don't think we're anywhere near there yet.